The quarterback position is the most important position on the field. Now, offensive line is important. Defensive line is important. Your secondary is also important. But the lead signal caller controls everything. And it's very good to have a backup quarterback. But let's just say Jackson State not only got that, but has a sure backup that came from a Big Ten school. And I'll chime in. Today's show is brought to you by Booked and Busy Talent. Booked and Busy Talent is a full talent agency that doesn't chase deals. They create deals. Clients receive counsel from strategic management consultants who have worked at Google for former President Barack Obama and in the healthcare industry. Their cross-industry business knowledge has helped them secure groundbreaking deals for their clients, such as first-team all-SEC gymnast Darian Goburn, the undisputed coin of the four, and Jackson State University two-sport human highlight reel Malachi Wyman. What are you waiting for? Get booked and busy today by contacting them at bookedandbusytalent at gmail.com to set up a future client consultation to get your NIL deals rolling. What's good, everyone? This is Raw Truth Media, giving you the raw content that you deservedly need. Peace and blessings. Peace and love to everybody. I hope everyone's having a great day. Make sure to like and share this video. Now, today's topic is about the backup quarterback that Jackson State just signed. His name is John Paul Adrande, and I hope I spelled his last name right. Quarterback from Ohio State. Now, before you go in the comment section and say, he's a walk-on at Ohio State. True. But, there's one thing you're missing out. He was a three-star recruit. And if you look at 24-7 sports, he had a couple of D1 offers from the Mountain West, Sunbelt, and other FBS schools. He just chose to walk on at Ohio State because it was a school he liked. And he had the grades to do it. If you look at his huddle film, you can see why he was a three-star. Has good size, 6'2", 210, 215 pounds. A true pocket passer. Every sense of the way. And this is great for JSU. Not only on offense, but on defense. Let me start on defense. Defense, for this reason alone. When you practice for upcoming teams, you know that you have a quarterback who is accurate enough, who has seen all types of talented defenders that can prepare this dark side defense against anyone. Having a backup quarterback is so essential to the whole team. I don't think people realize this. And I'm sure John Paul has seen all types of players, uh, players that are that are from Ohio State that get drafted in the first round. Elite DBs, elite defensive linemen. Going to the league every year. So he's seen it all. And what it tells you is he's battle tested. And that's a plus. Now for offense. Shadir had a great season as a freshman. uh, Despite the poor offensive line. He made nothing into something, showed leadership, and proved all the haters wrong by winning FCS Freshman of the Year. He rose above all the hate that was towards him, and he conquered, and he won. Mentally tough quarterbacks. That's what you need on your team, and Shabir is that. Now, if Shadir gets dinged up in the game, and I, God forbid that doesn't happen, I hope not, but this is football, you never know. Let's say uh, they're facing the team and the defender uh, calls a concussion or something. 
by having a good backup like John Paul. He can come in. He doesn't have to be the star. What he would do is manage the game. Jackson State got all those weapons there, an improved offensive line and a new offensive philosophy. So all he would do is just make sure that the script is running. And when I say the script, the offensive script, there's a couple of plays they do in practice, game-like. So when they enter the game, they're not surprised, they're not off-key or anything. And it brings intelligence in the quarterback room. He didn't have an offer from Ohio State, had offers from other FBS schools, but he was smart enough to attend Ohio State, a great university, even though it was a you know, PWI. You know how we feel about that, but still, smart guy. And the quarter, quarterback room is bolstered. And you guys are going to see in the spring, when you watch him play, you're going to be like, hmm, man, he could start for other swag teams. I'm telling you right now, do not be surprised. But shout out to Coach Prime. Coach Prime has been motivated this offseason from that loss they had in the Celebration Bowl. He wanted to make sure his whole roster is upgraded. He upgraded every single position. Right now, you could say Jackson State right now does not have a weakness. I don't know what weakness they have. If you add these new recruits, I don't know what weaknesses they have. Now, you could say offensive line, but with the players they signed, unless unless the (laughs) Pac-12 offensive linemen that they signed regress and don't play to the level they usually play with, then that could mean trouble, but I don't see that happening. But JSU fans, be excited. And I'm so glad that the SWAC improved. I always like the SWAC, or all HBCUs, to challenge each other on the field or on the court or any sport. And to dominate against non-conference teams. That's the dream. And my dream for next season, for all HBCUs, I want to see four, eight, at least four HBCUs ranked in the top 25. Really more than that. But I'll start with four. And if that happens, man, I'd be so happy. But I'm thinking about going to the spring game. If anybody else going to the spring game, let me know. I got to make it to that, man. I, I, I got to support and uh, if any SWAC school has a spring game, I'm sure all SWAC schools have pre-game, uh, spring games, let me know as well. I'm, I'm going to Jackson State spring game and possibly Grambling. I got I to gotta show love to Grambling. Grambling has been showing love to my channel, so I, I got to return the favor. But if there's any more, let me know. Give me the, the dates of the spring games and everything else. Lastly, at 12 Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, I will be interviewing Darren Goburn, All-American gymnast, the Queen. That's her nickname. It's an important conversation, especially uh, with black women tuning in uh, to listen to empowerment, a sister who has accomplished everything and wants to accomplish more. This is just the interview that's important to listen to so tune in at 12 p.m pacific time 3 p.m eastern and i want everybody to know stay positive have a blessed day and raw truth and i'm out